Whatever you do in life, your start gonna be ugly. You can't start balling on the first day. That's the dream that we were sold as black men. Cash Money Records came out, they was rich. Soon as we saw them niggas bling, bling. Come on, man, you gotta start somewhere. You gotta get your ugly on. No, you can't cheat the process. And I'm not gonna keep telling you this. You gotta embrace the ugly though. Embrace it. Embrace it. It's beautiful. It's where you at. I've been noticing the trend. A lot of ladies are on social media. Hiding their feet. The truth hurt. hurt. That's it's the real. Truth. That's the only goddamn thing they tell you about the truth. They tell you a million goddamn things about a lie. A lie don't give a fuck who tell it. Yeah. A lie be around the world before the truth put his shoes on. Cause a lie is a bad motherfucker. Cause a lie got the power to make you do some shit that you wouldn't have did if you knew the truth. And naturally, I'm just like, nigga, that's Ric Flair. If it could have been any old white man, yeah. you would have said that. It was like, nigga, that's Ric Flair. And he turned and he. He was like, hey, how you doing? I was like, man, that's crazy. I say, man, listen, I don't, let me get a picture with you, man. He was like, well, you think you all offset somebody? I'm like, what, nigga? Yeah, come on, man, let's take a picture. He was like, bet, man. So I, gave, I go to get a phone to his wife. He was like, oh, no, she's not going to do it. She'll ride my ass all the way home. I say, my bad, we're going to do a selfie then. We took the selfie. He's like, what do you do? I say, I tell jokes, man. And as he's asking me what I do, two kids come up and take a picture with me. So he's just like, skip. They, yep. Now listen, Skip, they still yeah. threw the ball down the... Whoever it is, like all the contractors, still all them tools, still all the trucks, all the concrete mixes, still all that shit. We're going to build a wall around the world's best carpenters? That's stupid. <laughs> These motherfuckers are skilled in building. And you're going to build a wall around some motherfuckers who built the pyramids. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to wave your phone, fuck around, and find the kind of hoes you like. <laughs> and even the eyes for you and tell you the ones that already like you back. And, uh, Hit her listen. back. Siri, which one ain't bullshitting? You should probably call. It's gonna get to that. She texts back in one minute, eight seconds on average. It's gonna be Shout out to Waffle House for being affordable, but still selling steak in that bitch. What the hell? <laughs> for real? I said the 85 South Show. Is the coldest podcast and all around, time. all around, 85 South Show. The coldest podcast, even when the government is shut down, we still hit you with that shit from underground. We back off in the trap, these radios don't work, but they look good. Aesthetically pleasing like a motherfucker. Hey, we bout to get out right on. That's the radio granddaddy used to listen to the fight on. <laughs> That's the one granddaddy found out that they assassinated Martin Luther King downtown. It came on 92 a.m. before it was Rebel Radio. Hey, all right, that's enough drum. I gotta tell you this shit, bro. What? What you know what's been going up? What's that? Recently. What's that? Get a lot of feedback from. What's that? When you told the bitch her titties was longer than a CBS receipt. Oh, yeah. Shout out to the lovely lady right there with the big old titties. How you doing, man? <laughs> man she got them motherfuckers sitting up. I bet when you take that bra off, your titties longer than a CVS receipt. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> She go, she wear her titty on her hip like a four five. Yeah, that's what a good one, right there. Because if you ever had a CVS receipt, you know how long them be. You ain't gonna use none of them coupons. Bro. They got 50 cent off a roll of toilet paper. Who the fuck buy one single roll of toilet paper? Bro, <laughs> we, got a, we haven't had a good titty segment yet for 19. Oh, I was about to say what? I'm talking now about a segment about titties on the show. Oh, yeah. Uh, you have. You heard that all wrong. Yeah, I did. Uh, it made it sound like me and you be splitting titties. <laughs> we don't, like I take the left. No, we're not, we're not titty sharers or nothing. I'm just saying. Like we need to dedicate titties a portion. Are amazing, man. We titties. always talk about the big titties, but the little titty women been feeling left out. Anything oh, you want to say to them? Hey, hey, baby. Push through. We love you too. <laughs>
Hey, we know you ain't got a lot on your chest, so you ain't got right. too much to get on. You know, as a big titty connoisseur, I don't never want nobody to feel like their titties is inadequate. Because I'm a titty, I'm like the titty, uh, I'm like a dean of titties. Like, I'm over admissions. Yeah. All, I, I go you through the application, everybody gets a fair chance. Yeah. Right. It's yeah. all about the, the person that they're attached to. Yeah. Nothing like a, it's nothing worse than a mean woman with some big, nice titties. Because why she that mean? She ain't never had nobody treat her titties the way they were supposed to be. Or treated. loved her yeah. whole. Like just hug her. Yeah, just all why is she angles. so tough? I don't understand. I don't, I don't like thing. You ain't never, I don't understand a big, tough woman. I don't Pretty like tough woman. Big, mean, rough bitch. What you mad, what you mad at, man? What you mad? It's more angry. Angry. Fuck you. Oh. Hi. Bitch, fuck wrong with you? Right. I never dug that. Never. Oh, it's a lot of dope. Yeah, it's a lot of niggas. It's dope. Yeah, man, I be forgetting my nigga. Yeah. You, you saw when you gave it back to me, everybody was like, <gasps> Yeah. They was there. They hope switched the up. energy of the room. Yeah, the hope. Because ain't no more blunts left. Yeah. Yes, it is. I got two packs in the car. Really? Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah, nigga, man. I'm a fisher. Damn. Always been in the fishing. You always say today, bro. Yeah. Shout out to that. DC. DC is on the road right now. Yep. Me and Chico hit the spot late night just to cook up for y'all. Fuck around. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, man. I'm feeling good, Lo. You Look are? at all these dope ass album covers. Man, make on the some wall. predictions for 2019. Because you already know we've really been avoiding the whole elephant in the room of what's going on in the world. But I'm yeah. just trying to keep everybody focused on more positive things for 2019. But what are some of your 2019 projections for the world? Anything. I project in 2019 that a lot of the things that I envision us doing, mm -hmm. the conversations we used to have when it was nothing, are gonna to start to come to fruition more and more in 2019, right. dog. Right. Like, we're, maybe we're gonna have some very interesting conversations. People don't know that, like how, we, how That's why I'm saying we wanna catch them up on what's going on on the cusp of 85 South Shore. We've been having some very interesting conversations with some very interesting people. Very, very much. You know, there's going to be a lot of great opportunities. You know what I'm saying? And that's another thing you should do in 2019, if you ask me. Build make with your people. It's Let good to build it. with your people, Let man. Let me speak on it. Speaking of building with your people, the audience, shout out to the notification game, by the way. Yeah. The people don't understand that when they help us win, they project us to even bigger startup. Mm-hmm. Because it's knowing that like the people who are these executives and the people who make decisions, when they see that you have a, a fan base and a following that enjoys what you do, whether we're talking about big titties or whatever the fuck, for some reason, they want to understand why these people like us. Yeah, and they want to be a part of it. So that's the thing. When you create a following and, and y'all show the love that y'all show, no matter how you show it, right. you know what I mean? Just your support in any kind of way, it shows that something is going on that they missing out on because they not they don't have the, the ear to the street like y'all do and they get all of their information secondhand from watching y'all project us in the places to where now we're in their eyesight that's the only thing that success is in my opinion it's just you getting to different levels and all the getting to a different level allow you to do it see what's next now you got a better view of what you can get to and right. y'all fucking with us help them people see that we on a level where they can see us right. and fuck with us. You know another segment that they really was fucking with? What's that? The uh, the backstage hustle game. Oh yeah. But guess what? Where I come from, my mama grinded her ass off to the point where she ain't gotta work no more. I'm gonna grind my ass off to the point where I ain't gotta work no more. Get to the point where I'm setting up trend of your children take care of your parents. Right. You feel what I'm saying? But if you they don't know how to be business more, you know, business minded people and don't understand the structure of the game, they might fool they gonna be it. You gotta be lying out there. This is this even deeper than that though, bro. It's like anything you do. It don't matter if you're an entertainer or a teacher or anything. If you put, if you do anything well enough to put the people who love you the most in a better position, to be the person that, that got your mom out there old ass car, or you moved into another side of town, or you, you know what I'm saying? You, like when you start doing things that's bigger than you, it ain't about the shit that you bought, or the, you know, shit that's gonna come and go. Like, 
Take what you have and yeah. use it for the betterment of your environment. Take care of your people. Make exactly. sure your auntie go to the doctor. Get your little cousin 500. Whether he fuck it off or not, you know that nigga dad ain't been in his life. He buy him some joy. Whether he fuck it up or not, just to give motherfuckers the, to have that experience and say, you did this or you made that happen. Or when my car fucked up and you and you paid 700 for the transmission, I appreciate that, cuz. Cause that shit got me to Christmas and then Christmas I hit the $3,500. You, you made other things possible for other people. Shit, money can't buy. Definitely. Yeah, and that's the thing, like, we talk like that all the time. Like, me and Carlos, we have some of the most intriguing conversations, like, Building this is my the brother. science of knowledge. This is my brother. Like, we done been, we started literally with nothing. We was talking about it at the DC show that we did, and we used to walk to Western Union and send all $50, and, you know, washing clothes when you're working and all that, washing your own clothes. So the conversations that we had then was the building blocks to where we are now. So y'all fucking with us just puts us in position to continue to have those type of moments and conversations where we see the things that we work for come to fruition. Right, because when we were, before, you know, people knew exactly who we were, it was all about, like we always knew that it would go, we would have fans eventually. Right. We just never knew who they would be. Right. So we already was like, you know, preparing to be in a position to, you know, maybe have fans or not. Yeah. So it's always cool to see people fucking with you and why they fuck with you and where they fuck with you at because this show has become part of somebody's rotation right. somewhere. A lot you know of people. You don't know where it where it falls for them. They take this to work with them or they ride home with it. Or they sitting in bed with their girl watching right. it. Or they sitting in the living room with all their homegirls watching it. How dope is that? You know what I mean? Or don't you, you ever think about how many bitches might like you? Nah. I, you don't you nah. don't be using this shit right, bro. That's nah, not what we don't. doing this for. No, this is what saying. That's definitely not what we're here for. But uh yeah, like just just seeing people, like you ever pulled up on somebody watching us? Yeah, don't and even blew tell their mind. Them. Oh my god. I don't even in, look. I just I was in the airport, straight. right? I was in the airport actually leaving uh I forget what show it was. We was in um not not Oklahoma, one of the shows that we did. I was at the airport in Charlotte and I was going to get my bag. And you know, I had to wait for the bag to come out and dude was sitting down waiting for his bag to come out. And I walked behind him and seen he was watching the, uh, he was watching the Nashville show. So I came and sat down and he looked over at me and kind of just, and I was like, man, what you watching right there? That nigga say, nigga, you, <laughs> what's up, man? So it was just like those type of moments, man, is dope. Like if people really fucking with it, this man was just getting off a flight and was waiting on his bag. Who knows what he had going on in his life, but he chose to make what we do a part of it. And that's major, man. So, you know what I mean? Salute to major. It's major. That's major. Major. Hey, man. That's funny. I just love that people love the shit that we love. We got titties in the building. Yeah. We do. That means we did a good job. Right. That means whatever we did as niggas, we did enough work that have brought the big titties to the atmosphere. So now we can really work. And that's the thing, I love what we do. Like, I listen to us. Like, I just like the, the songs that we made. Like, I'll sit and just ride. You know, I like to drive. People know me, you know, I like to get on the road and just cruise out and I just vibe out to us. Joe be bullshitting, we need that 85 South Show playlist, greatest hits, Joe. All right, man. Yeah. Joe yeah. in here. Joe in here. Joe in here looking like he is an assassin. Joe like, look, Joe just like a new, Black Panther. Yeah, like he assassinated. But the like, videographer for the Black Panther. Exactly. He know how to work a rifle to break it down real fast and put it back together. That's a joke. No kung fu and shit. But yeah, man, like, I'm looking forward to, to you know, being able to continue to do more of the shit that we have been able to be blessed to do, bro. Like, we done done a lot of things, <coughs> man, and we just getting started. What's some of the do, coolest bro? shit to you? We was talking about some highlights the other week. Well, some of the cool shit, bro. We got to go kick it at Diddy office and drunk Ciroc with Diddy, nigga. I never drink it nigga again. who made Ciroc. Oh, 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 that's too much right now. Thank you, sir. <laughs> when you need a hit, who you go and get? Really. I never drink it again. Salute you don't Diddy. drink it after that. You know, after you drink Ciroc with Diddy, that's the last time you should. You, well, how you gonna top that? You can't top that. Who else you gonna drink Ciroc with that's topping drinking it with Diddy? 
That's like eating a piece of Popeyes with Popeye, nigga. Nigga, that's real. <laughs> that's like having your birthday party with the real Ronald McDonald. Real or, or the and real Grimace. Chuck E. Cheese. Come on, bro. Once you fuck with the CEO, you can't top that. That's real as fuck. We did a lot of shit. We did a lot of cool shit, man. You'd be surprised who watched this shit. But I, would, I know for I'm a fact Morgan Freeman nephew watched it. That's amazing. Yeah. Just Steph Curry like probably that. done heard it. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. I know LeBron watch it. Yeah, he fuck with it. Hell, yeah. And Drake. Thing. And if he didn't fuck with it, when he see it, he gonna fuck with it. Serena Williams. Yeah. Venus. Yeah. They daddy. Yeah. Dr. Matthew Drake. Knowles. <laughs> Matthew, Matthew Knowles, Knowles fuck, fuck with, with it us. hard. You know Matthew Knowles. You know Beyonce love it. this shit. Yeah. Jay-Z. Blue. We got to drop a clean version for, for yeah, blue. blue. Yeah, we got to get the one. We got. I'm telling you, man, we got to do the one where we have our kids on as the guests. We're going to do it. We got to do it. Right, because everybody love it. Yeah. Kim Kardashian, Chloe, Kanye, yeah. Saint North, um, Kendall Jenner, Kylie Jenner. I call them genders. Genders. You get it? Yeah. Uh, Bruce Jenner. Um, Think about that one. Think about that one, people. Uh, Mason. Carlos Miller. Courtney Kardashian. Who is Mason? That's the son by Lord Disick. Tiger. You really be. <laughs> I just keep up with who you fuck with the hip. show. Uh, Kylie Jenner, fuck with it. Rihanna, assistant. The lady who do Rihanna makeup. She yeah. be listening to it before Rihanna come in there. Um, Why she gotta stop when Rihanna come in there? Rihanna really just like it quiet, oh, okay. from what I understand. Okay. Cause she be on her own shit. She don't really, she talk loud. Oh, okay. And she don't really Distracting. like it. Yeah. I got you. Um, Snoop, oh, Snoop, you know Snoop oldest son. Him. Yeah. He watch it religiously. Um, who else, bro? Denzel know. Washington. Denzel Washington. You know he watch it. Yeah. Uh, Oprah then stumbled upon it. You think so? You heard how I put it? Yeah. She stumbled upon stumbled it. Stumbled upon it, right. Yeah. <clears throat> I heard Ellen wanted to watch it, but it's a lot of curse words. Yeah. She don't really like cussing that fucking much. Mm -hmm. um, it's bullshit. Scott Steiner. Sk uh, he, he, he alive? Probably. All right. If Shawn you are, Michaels. my bad. Shawn Michaels definitely. Rick Flair fuck with us for real. No, I heard. Tell me the Rick Flair story. Hey, bro. man. They thought I was just rambling off names, but these are real Listen. people that. Tell the Rick Flair story. Bro. I'm in the mall getting Christmas gifts after we come back from uh, Shreveport. Right. I'm standing in line. You walk out the store, and naturally, I'm just like, nigga, that's Ric Flair. It, it could have been any old white man yeah. you would have said that. It, it was like, nigga, that's Ric Flair. And he turned, and he, he was like, hey, how you doing? I was like, man, that's crazy. I say, man, listen, I don't, let me get a picture with you, man. He was like, well, you think y'all offset somebody? I'm like, what, nigga? Yeah, come on, man. Let's take a picture. He was like, bet, man. So I gave, I go to get a phone to his wife. He was like, oh, no, she's not going to do it. She'll ride my ass all the way home. I say, my bad. We're going to do a selfie then. We took the selfie. He's like, what do you do? I say, I tell jokes, man. And as he's asking me what I do, two kids come up and take a picture with me. So he's just asking about what we do. I'm like, man, well, we got this show called the 85 South Show, man. If you get a chance, you should check it out. Got to tell Ric Flair that, dog. He watched it. He turned it off because we wasn't talking about him, though. <laughs> I thought these guys were talking about wrestling. This yeah. nigga is stupid, man. Yeah, bro. Shout out to all the white people who watch our show and snout powder. We know it's some cokeheads who watch this, too. You don't want to show them no love, but they do. We have drug addicts who watch this show. Hey, man. Hey, People who do pills and all I that. I like the fact that we live in a time where drug addicts can have cell phones. No, you got to treat them like regular people because yeah, that's me. Yeah. But I think you should be mean to drug addicts in 2019. That's just me. Really? People said I was wrong when I put it on social media because I like to get feedback and shit. Mm -hmm. They said I was wrong and you shouldn't be mean to drug addicts. I don't know why. It was really why like... Why should you be mean to drug It was really addicts. like not no good reason why I shouldn't, but whatever. I feel like if you're going to be on drugs... You do have to hear some shit because you need to know that you being on drugs inconveniences a lot of us. <laughs> do you ever notice when the drug addict friend come around, everybody has the kind of like, 
everybody yield got their to, own routine. They got to kind of like go yield to them being yeah. a drug addict. Yeah. Like, oh, everybody got the, yeah. They, gonna slap some shit off the table. Why? Because he's a drug addict. And this time, I'm not going to not say something. And that's the thing. It's so <clears> powerful <throat> that you go into it immediately. Even if you don't know that person, if somebody informs you that they a drug addict, you go into your drug addict mode. Right. Like, oh, that nigga on dope? All right, bet. Like, hey, man, I'll talk sure. to your mama like that. Yeah, that makes sense. Right. Maybe being mean to him will make him understand the the, the faults but and being. I don't even know at. if it's being mean to him. I'm not gonna pretend like I don't know no more. Yeah. I'm Tell just him the let, truth. I'm just letting him. That's know. considered Fuck to be mean to people who you can't who have not tell to, motherfuckers the truth. Yeah. You listen. Telling the truth is hard, man. To for people to take. Like that's the thing. Like when you telling the truth, that's what people is 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 referring to when they say being mean. Like if you being mean to somebody, most of the time, if it's you know, verbal, you telling them the truth in some way, shape, or form. And depending on who you telling the truth, you can be looked at as being a hero or a villain. But why the motherfuckers run around asking for the goddamn truth knowing they ain't built like that? That's something I wonder daily, my brother. They ain't built for the truth. You ain't never Don't had nobody, nobody tell you the, the truth. goddamn truth, man. The truth. The truth hurts. Hurt. That's it's the real. First, that's the only goddamn thing they tell you about the truth. They tell you a million goddamn things about a lie. A lie don't give a fuck who tell it. Yeah. A lie be around the world before the truth put his shoes on. Because a lie is a bad motherfucker. Because a lie got the power to make you do some shit that you wouldn't have did if you knew the truth. Yeah. The truth is. This. Come to this club, the bitch on the fly ain't going to be there. That's the truth. We hoping for the best. <laughs> The truth hurts, man. Fuck the truth. Truth hurts, yeah. And that's the thing. We live in a time where everybody can mask their truth with pretend. That's why niggas be getting so fucked up with these women, because they think that the, the truth to them is a goddamn lie. You think you her only nigga, and you fucking all these hoes, and you do all this. Nigga, where you think she be at? Why she stop looking for you? Listen, I say that all the time, man. The, listen, man, fellas, if you think these women ain't got no game, man, ooh, you in for a surprise. You gonna have to listen to some real R&B. You, you gonna have to go back thread. to the '70s the way she gonna hurt your feelings. I had this thread on. Woo! Where I asked the fellas what some of the coldest game a woman has ever ran on them. Nigga, the answers you would be a. It's a oh no, we said. Remember you? We said we was in, a, man, in Houston at, last yeah, time. We was in Houston. Yeah. You showed me that shit. Man, man, fellas, it, leave in the comments some of the coldest game a woman has ever ran on. They you. so they wicked with it, man. They good at it. Like I'm talking about, we'll have a whole nother life. And you will never find out. And most of the time when you find out, it's because she wanted you to find out. Niggas don't have no idea how many times you done dropped her off to her other nigga. See how quiet they got? Mm. They got quiet in this no, whole I know. room full of niggas. Everybody yeah. got quiet. Everybody like, oh. Because niggas had to you start think. thinking about like, man. Me. You wanted to be the not me ass nigga. nigga. Yeah, listen. But you don't know. You don't know. That's the thing. You might not have dropped her off directly, but you dropped her off at the In the vicinity. Point. It was the vicinity. <laughs> She, her homegirl live upstairs. This nigga live downstairs. Boy, it's rough. Yeah. But that's why I tell niggas, some shit you don't need to know. Yep. It, and, they, and that's how they give you information. It's on a need no basis. You ain't need to know that. I don't want to fuck and you up psychologically, thing. but. Yeah, but that's the thing. Too much information can, can overkill you. And then, and then you be in a situation where you get into a relationship and they determine what they need to know and what you're supposed to tell them. Man, I asked the motherfucker a question so That's cold. crazy. She How somebody can determine what you're supposed to do. That's what I'm saying. Who came up with the relationship rule? Yeah. Who it's made like the book? Them terms and agreements. I can't if you agree do this, on this, I can't this, agree this, to the terms and agreements. Y'all in love and y'all straight. Who the fuck came up with the rules? Terms and conditions, like you gotta, man. You got to come up with your own terms and conditions. I can't man. do the terms and conditions, man. It don't make no sense how somebody can dictate that you're responsible for their emotions. Right. Because the average nigga lose his love just because he he got some more pussy, which I feel is unfair. It's very unfair. It's very unfair. Because they know our glitch. Everything got a fucking glitch. Yep, and that's they, why you got to be honest about the glitch, fellas. If you ain't with that shit, don't, don't it's, it's be disrespectful. Don't be telling her she the only it's one, rude bro. To, it's, it's disrespectful to a woman for you to really let her pussy. believe that you only want to be with her if you don't. Under false pretenses. It's, you it's can't respect it, that. That's terrible. And whatever she chooses to do in her reaction to finding that out is on you. It's your fault. Now, see, you had a choice. It's some niggas who in mid cheat right now. We are not saying tell on yourself. Nah. No, sir, Rebob. Just but move them in a better way. When them about each other and they both leave you, the next time you had to start over with two new bitches, tell them. Yep. You are not my only one. Right. Damn, I wish I could have said it better. 
Because when I said bitches, it killed the message. No, nah, no, it didn't. Yes, it did. No, it didn't. You sometimes you got to leave the bitches that out. Whoever that killed the message to ain't going to get the message. But see, I wanted it to be a universal message. Because I it knew is. a few bitches was going to hear it and just, just void it because I said, I said bitch. said bitch, oh, yeah. Well, we mean no disrespect. Especially the, to bitches who still tripping off shit like that. Like bitches, And Because yeah. and, and, it's a universal bitch. The bitch was in the universe. Yeah. Like, we in this bitch. But this is not and a And when we leave, we're going to be saying? out this bitch. Exactly. Yeah. And Makes we're going to leave this bitch. And when we do it again, we're going to come back to this bitch. But see, we could have said, we in this hole. We Same out this thing. hole. We got to leave this hole. I'll be back to this hole. Right. A lot That's of these bitches and hoes ain't even people. That's the fucked up part about it. Birds. But you won't hear that. You won't hear it. That's the thing, man. We 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 trying to give you the the way you can avoid as much stress as you can in 2019, fellas, and that's a big way. Most of the problems that you have come from what you do with your. Quit buying shit. You got it. No everything. matter what point you at in your life, if you can't buy it three times, don't buy it. Right, and you out here buying shit that you already got one of anyway. Stop buying so much shit. That's the whole point of getting money is to keep it. Don't just be out here hustling to get some shit. Fuck that shit. All that shit get old. Chico, you remember when you was hustling? All that shit old. Yep. You don't have none of that shit no nope. more. You ain't gonna want none of this shit in a few years. Stack your bread, young nigga. Cause you Quit gonna being wanna be able to do what you wanna be able to do with your money. That's Look at me. Gonna wanna My pants all do. got all kind of holes in them. But they came like that. They came like that. Shout out to Dope. I think these the ones they yeah, said. Yeah, shout out to Eat too, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Good DC young brother, man. But that's what I'm saying. You can always get the things that you want when you learn how to live with the things that you need. Period. You can learn how to live with the things that you need. You'll always be able to get what you want. Nigga, you, you be saying gonna, some cold shit. You ain't going to be able to do that. You need at least Buy a brochure shit. or something. You say some shit. Nah, I appreciate you. Yeah. You ain't that's gonna never have shit if you don't appreciate what you got, though. Hey, what you just said. That's the that's the golden rule. I be trying to tell motherfuckers, man. And I don't have it all, but I damn sure don't want it all either. Exactly. Ooh. I don't want it Ooh. all. Ooh. Ooh. What the fuck I'm gonna do with everything? Everything? There's yep. too much responsibility. Yep. To whom much is given. Much is expected. Come on now. Don't give me every goddamn thing. I don't want it. I want a few of these things and leave me the fuck alone. I'll right. be back. I come back and get some more shit, but I ain't just, I'm not here for the shit. I'm with the shit, but I don't I want it. it. Yep, there it is. You get it? You know what I mean? We got the start of a new year. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Shout out to everybody who ever thought they finessed me. You never finessed me. I gave you that. I let you win. I let you win because I didn't want to play no more. You see what you want? Nothing. Nothing. Damn. And Shout out to everybody. You to that finesse because that's the only memory you got that's it. that count to you. And that's you know tough. you did me wrong, so you're going to live with that guilt. I'm good. Tough. Whatever you owe me, eat it. Put it in a bowl and fucking <clears throat> eat it. And make sure you can buy it three times. You can't, but that's why I want you to keep it. <laughs> because whatever you did allowed me to do what I did to have what I have. And I'm going to continue doing what I do so I can be as successful as I want to be. Hey, man. As I want to be. Not you by your be. standards. <clears throat> hey, by nobody's standards. Yeah. That's the thing, man. Learn how to want what you want and stand on it. Whatever it is you want to do, figure it out and then start embracing it and loving it. Because the quicker you do that, the quicker you'll realize why you shouldn't give a fuck about what nobody think about you. Chica, why is 85 South Show the coldest podcast? It's the coldest podcast because we don't give a fuck about nothing but what we give a fuck about. Who is the podcast for? The podcast is for niggas like us. Simple. And hey, you know another thing, ladies? I've been noticing the trend. A lot of ladies are on social media hiding their feet. <laughs> that is a hell of a point to acknowledge, Carlos. How they did you hiding, come to this knowledge? They are hiding their feet. I've noticed a quite attractive young lady who was hiding her feet, and then once she forgot to hide it, and I noticed exactly why. <laughs> because that second toe was the smallest toe that she had. And, and to think that she's out here <laughs> Telling niggas, no. <laughs> and curving motherfuckers, and she's clearly. They got a baby second toe. A mutant. <laughs> a fucking mutant. Fucking mutants out here telling us that we're inadequate. Hey. 
Hey man, hey, I'm not saying we. I'm we, just speaking in general, general terms. I know, bro. bro. Like, I speak for the men out there who are fucking going through it with these bitches. Yeah, what's not the, good women. I don't mean no disrespect. What's the, but it's some bitches out there. I got a question. That are giving niggas gray hairs. What's the, what's the nigga filter? The nigga filter. The nigga filter. You know how they got all the filters that can make you, you know, make the, that a lot of the ladies use to make themselves look differently than what they <laughs> look in person. Money. It's the, the only, fil- it's the only, the only filter. filter a nigga can have. I knew it. My nigga, listen. Bro. Money. But just to That's think it. about it, though. You got the ball with where you can ball at. Right. You don't have to compare yourself to another nigga. Right. You the type of nigga who, who all you could goddamn do is what you could do, do it. Do it. If your shit ain't new, make sure it's neat. It is. And that's the thing. Like, you can put yourself in a position to be able to have everything that you want, my nigga. Everything. Right. Everything. But see, this the thing, though. This what where, this where people, <laughs> a lot of motherfuckers fall to at. You got to start. Oh, I ain't know you were smoking that. It. My bad. Don't worry about it. This is what niggas fault to at. You got to start somewhere. You start going to always be ugly. I don't give a fuck what you're doing in life, nigga. If you try to grow your fucking beard out, you got to go through the ugly phase. If you try to grow some dreads, you got to have the little titties first, man. If you're trying to jump into some movies, you got to do some bullshit movies first. Whatever you do in life, your start going to be ugly. You can't start balling on the first day. That's the dream that we were sold as black men. Cash Money Records came out, they was rich. Soon as we saw them niggas bling bling. Come on, man, you gotta start somewhere. You gotta get your ugly on. No, you can't cheat the process. I'm you not gotta, gonna keep telling you this. You gotta embrace the ugly though. Embrace it. Embrace it. It's beautiful. It's where you at. Yeah. It's all good. Yes. Embrace the ugly, man. Yeah. Embrace it. Love it. Because when you get to a point where you're not in the ugly no more, you're going to gonna have a grace. greater appreciation for not being in the ugly. Right. You got to watch your own progress. Remember when Jigga said they used to tell their friends I was ugly and wouldn't touch me till Til I, I showed up in that dubbed out buggy? buggy. Man, that's the t- that's why that nigga gonna be one of the greatest because he he gave you life lessons gave, in the mood. He been giving us games in the, in the, the music. first album. Yeah. Literally. And that's the thing. The buddy. Like nigga said, said no such nigga. thing as an ugly billionaire. I'm cute. Yeah. It's the money. That's the only thing that we could get as men to turn into a filter. Got to have some money. It don't matter how cute. After, listen, all the young niggas that's watching us, it get to a point where being cute ain't enough no more, young nigga. Having Damn. swag ain't enough no more. Nope. Having all of the, the Jordans and having all of the new whatever ain't enough. You know what sex is to a woman? You got to be able to provide. You know what sex is to a woman? Financial security. You got to be able to provide because you being able to provide is what a man is based on in the real world. You ain't got that yet because somebody probably still providing for you and that's cool. Embrace being a young person. Let Craig grab them swishes out the gym. Oh, I hate right, that. While we in here vibing what and the cooking keys and shit. Uh, the keys on the uh, right there. They in the uh, While in the we in here cooking up this good 85 South show because they know who the podcast is for. <laughs> who was for? You don't know who the podcast is for by now? You don't know? They got to tell them something. But this podcast is for the whole black community. Makes sense right there. Yeah, the, the entire black, community, black community. The, black, the entire black community, bro. The whole block. The corner store, Habib and them, all that. Even if you made it, even if you made it on up, y'all right. too. If you're you know in Calabasas who else in a cul-de-sac, this is for you because you're you know still in the black for, community. Bro? It's for white people who get it. We're not trying to force you to get it. If you get it, you get it. And it's for white people who want to get it. Right. If you want to watch some shit to help you figure it out. You know who else it's for? Who? Black people who watch this shit all around the world. Oh, my God. We got some people Nigeria. in places I never even heard tell of. tell me, man. Places where if you go on the emoji, all of them flags, them places. Them those places, bro. Places that ain't even on the globe. I don't even know how to get to some of this shit. Nardia. <laughs> Niggas be hit watching this shit in Narnia. Man. Narnia. Come on, man. This sounds like a cold radio interlude you got playing. Yeah, welcome back to 94 Slow. Where we play the slow jams. Uh, that was Peebo Bryson right there. Uh, with one of his classic hits uh, to all the ladies who want to win those Bell Biv DeVoe tickets. We're about to get you to call in. Uh, remember, the ninth caller will win the tickets. We got Bell Biv DeVoe coming to the uh, stadium on the 19th. We got we some Mario Winans coming up in the next hour. 
Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mario Winans. If you don't know, then you need to know this is the slow groove with Carlos Miller and Chico Bean. Yeah. I want to give a big shout out to my man, Big Percy, over there holding it down. Godfather's Pizza, some of the best pizza in the city. That's why old niggas do their shit. They always put their little dramatic pause yeah. in there. Some of the best pizza in the city. Coming up right now, we got some Mario Winans. Some Puff Daddy. <laughs> Puff Daddy. <laughs> like my man Michael Bays. You already know it's the Michael Bays in the morning show. We coming to you live today, dude. Black men need to have more responsibility around the house. We're gonna get you to call in right now. We got the new Rihanna. Get ready to come up right now. It's the Michael Bays in the morning show. Hey man, that is some stupid shit. They they always have some shit that they know people gonna argue about. Yeah. Ladies, yeah. ladies, this morning we just wanna. Wake you up at 7 o'clock and ask you if your man was behind on this child support and needed to borrow $700, would you do it? Make sure you hit the phone lines. The phone lines are wide open. You are kicking it with the weak-ass morning crew asking you goofy shit every morning. We're going to record it, play it at 2 o'clock, let you hear it again. You heard us. Start laughing for no reason. Ha-ha-ha! ha come on. Boop, 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 boop. fucking theme song. No, I'm just playing. I ain't fucking with y'all, man. That was just some shit I heard. Yeah. Smooth grooves in the morning. You already know what it is. We're alive. And would you ever work in one of them radio joints where you, yeah. you had a morning radio Hell show? yeah. Oh, man, on the morning show, man, I have the Freestyle Friday with only aunties. All the aunties. All the aunties call the up aunt, and rap. The auntie Freestyle gotta, Friday. Listen, you know it's aunties that wanted to be rappers in the 80s. Man, these aunties is, you man. know, aunties is young now. You know what I mean? Auntie was really supposed to be signed in like 94. She was going to sign a relativity, Call it but single she, couldn't get the, she couldn't get the, the plane ticket to get to New York, but she was going to sign a relativity. Yeah. She still got it. We want to hear Tommy Boy. She was gonna sign a Tommy Boy, right. one of them labels, Capital. The single mom spit some lounge. Oh, listen, the single mom spit some lounge. Listen, that'll be morning show. What mm. you was doing the morning show? Oh man, I ha I have uh, I have a segment where we eat leftover chicken from the club the night before. <laughs> yeah, we'll probably do something like uh, have well, I have some uh, strippers come in straight off of work. Come straight hit the morning show. Right give, give us the uh, Fresh off. give us the adult entertainment report. Yep. But do it like a financial and uh, financial. See what days they make money on. Hey, what's some broke ass niggas in there last night? And then we'll make a chart, and then we'll do it at the end of the year. Summarize the best time to go to the strip no, club, and when the strippers gonna make the most income. Help them put a portfolio together. Link you know. them with a financial advisor so they can invest some of the income. Listen. You know what else we should do? That is a brilliant idea. You know what else we should do on the morning show? What? Just have grannies come in and make their best dish. Oh, whatever they know. And then for. when they finish the best dish, we're going to let them scroll the Instagram timeline just to see what these young ladies is up to. Because they, they don't want the older ladies to see that they're doing. They, they, they grandma think they're out here. She's going to run across her grand, our right. granddaughter Instagram. That'll come be on. another dope segment. Ooh. We show granny her show granddaughter your grandma Instagram, Instagram page. Instagram. Show your mama show. your Instagram. Show your mama your Instagram. Show her your DM. Show her your DM. This is. Let your mama read them texts that you ain't answered. This is the Carlos Mill and Chico Bean Morning Show. You want to tune in, don't you? Show your mama your DM. Show your mama your DM. That's a segment on our that morning show. That got to come on at 5 o'clock, though. Yep. That's got to be what they're listening to on the way home. Baba read the DMs live Ooh. on the radio. Ooh. We're going to censor it because it's the radio, but go ahead and read the first one, Bob. Yeah, that'd oh, be dope. Man. You'll want to listen to that. Oh man, we could do so much dope. We could do right so now. much dope shit. Just go work a day at a nigga job with him. <laughs> nigga, how about this? One? It don't matter where you work at. We just you just submit where you work at to, for us to just come work a day at your job with you, nigga. Guess what I do? What you will do? On my morning show. What? Have a segment where you could get back with your ex. Mmm. The rebound. Yep. Once a week. Once a week, the rebound. And we're gonna do it all week. We're gonna we're gonna track the progress. That'll be so hard. Because they're gonna call in and tell them that you want that you want your eggs back. And then we're gonna send we're gonna send them on some little radio shit. 
give them some tickets to some bullshit, let them come to the lounge and smoke hookah on us and turn up. Because every radio morning show have a little Wednesday night or some shit they do, a little hookah lounge. Yeah. Yeah, we'll invite them out to one of our events and see what she if they with it. And you can't just have two random motherfuckers who might get to fight, you know, people who are interested with getting back with each other. Right. You know, I ain't no hoe no more. I'm gonna do right this time. That's what we're gonna call that shit. I'm gonna do right this time. Have another segment where our kids come in and plan our day. Oh man. They get to plan the whole day. What we gonna do That's, the whole now day? Now you bring the kids in and let them read your contract. Once your daughter find out how much you making for a whole year work of work. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Son, this will be the worth... dopest morning show ever. <laughs> show my daughter come in and read my contract. Bro, show them how you had to break down, how the money break down all oh, year. Oh, my God. Then show them what you got left to spend on her. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let your kids know what's really going on out here. Yeah. Baby, this is how much the bill's going to be. This is how much I'm going to have left for you. Oh, hell no. You got to do something else. <laughs> And then you show them what you can actually buy with that money in terms of what they like. Oh, man. That's two PlayStation. <laughs> That's going to be yours. I watch it and listen to it. Oh, man. Listening to it. Who would you want to interview? Who would I want to interview? On our morning show. On the morning show. Uh, Dame Dash. Dame Dash would be dope. Yep. Right out the gate. Dame Dash. My son got cookies. Because I want to update on them cookies. They they had to be delicious. Yeah. They had to be delicious. Who would I want to interview? That would be a dope-ass name for a bakery in the hood. My, My son, son got, got cookies. cookies. Yeah. yeah. That should You should have used the name. That'd be hard. Go to New York and open no, up I a bakery called a My Son show. Got Cookies. Who? Will Smith. For real? Yeah, he, he wouldn't should. come. Yeah, he should. Come talk to us. Yeah, Gucci. Gucci too, yeah. Gucci, man. Walk Quint a car with the tip of my fingernail. Want a shot with me? Then buy you, you a bigger, bigger scale. scale. Want a cop choppers, plenty of yappers? Then call me. I got more goddamn Damn guns in an army. Man, so I, I see but see, every time you say Gucci, I say Walker, because they just supposed to be together. They supposed to be together. Right. Yeah, yeah. They really are, man. Them niggas had some of the coldest names in they camp, bro. Gucci Mane LaFleur. Walk a flock of flame. Walk a flock of flame. <laughs> Walk a flock of flame. That sounds like something. Woo the kid. Do. That's a finishing move. Frenchy. Walk a flock of flame. That sounds like some Street Fighter shit. Yeah. Walk, Walk a, a flock of flame. That's what old dude Dalsim was hitting you with. Walk a flock <laughs> of flame. Walk a flock of flame. That'd be a dope ass intro, Walker. If you just said, Walk a flock of flame, and you just come in, I came down the street with the chopper out the window. Like, that'd be dope, nigga. I like that nigga, man. That nigga, that nigga when that nigga came out. cool, out, too, man. When that nigga came out, that damn song, man, that old, oh, let's do it, that shit just that changed shit, the now, game. I never heard nothing like that before. It was just real. It I'm came like, right in. It wasn't on no like glamorous shit. Something Michael my Myers would listen to. He brought back responsibility to the rap game. Cause he didn't blame it on nobody. I fucked my money up. Now, now I can't, can't re up. up. Ran up in my spot just to, to get, get my, my stacks, stacks up. up. Now I'm back on deck. So Charlie, what the fuck you want? Heard he talking shit, but, but this, this ain't what the, the fuck, fuck you want. want. Lock my CEO up. up. Now, now it's, it's back, back to Cobra. Cobra. This nigga had, he just is honest. The CEO is locked up. The company is in financial ruins. I have no other options. Sell Coke. I'm already good at Coke. I was selling Coke before this situation. Let me get back to that. It's I'm gonna hold it down think about. until the CEO figure out what he, what's, what his situation is. I'm selling Coke in the yeah. name of this. Yeah, wow. that's the thing. That type of music, man. Like you can. Uh, that's the thing. Music is music, man. You appreciate the music for what it is. It's like it doesn't mean that you condone whatever's being mm -mm. said. It just I apply means, trap music to my life. Yeah, it's just you gotta apply the message to whatever it is you doing. You know what I mean? You didn't fuck the money up before. You know what I mean? You couldn't pay your electric bill or whatever. You couldn't re-up on the electric bill. You got to re-up with you the electric people every groceries. month. You got to realize you got, every time you pay a bill, you got 30 days to be able to pay that motherfucker again. That's all. And if you can't the next 30, it don't matter if you pay every 30 for 10 years straight, they're going to cut your shit off just like you did. So 
You got to be able to know, my nigga. That's make it. the right decision. That's it. That's all. That's it. That's all. That's all. That's all. Ain't, Ain't no problem. Ain't no problem. Ain't no problem. Ain't no problem. Skip. 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 They should have threw the ball, Skip. Now, Skip. They, skip. Now, listen, Skip. They should have threw the ball down skip. the field, Skip. Skip. You know, you know O'Shea Sharp. No. I know. <laughs> I'm put some doom on that. O'Shea Sharp. <laughs> I got them. Uh, skip. I'm telling you now. I got these. Uh, I got these blunt. I got the. Uh, I got my wood. Yeah, that good old yak. On that yak this morning, Skip. You know what I mean? Go, go, James. Go, go, James. On that yak this morning. Hey, I man, love that nigga, This man. nigga said Carlos is like the street nigga Marvis Garvey. but this nigga really out here fighting for real nigga rights. He must be <laughs> protected at all right costs. You know what? Because real niggas have been so overlooked in the process. Yeah. So overlooked. For years. Yes. Yes, man. Yes, they went crazy when you said that girl had a, an erection on her bun. Come on, y'all. Who we got in hey, here? Hey, if you had sex, use some protection. Her bun got an erection. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. She do got a dick on her head. She got a dick on her head. Come on. She got a dick on her head. Come on, y'all. Yeah, I had to stop letting Chad fucking pull these comments. This nigga's crazy. Let me see what he said. Oh, right. we got another one somewhere. Don't yep. me that one up down the back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For niggas who buy a box Chevy, put sixes on that bitch instead of getting the AC fixed and drive with the windows down. That's what this podcast is for. Yeah. Yeah. This podcast is for all the people who hit the like button before they watch the video. This is the coldest podcast. Man, these are some fan comments. This podcast is for niggas that work at places that don't piss test but ain't got no benefits. Huh. Shit, the drug test not being there was a benefit. Hey, Sir Wesley say the 85 South Shore basketball team, point guard Carlos General on the court. Chico don't really go to practice, but when he show up for the game, he always come through. DC, young talent that can do a little bit of everything. Nav, undersized, but he's stocky, so he can bump with the big guys in the paint. Clayton, he the tallest one, so of course he gonna get all the rebounds. And then the sixth man is when they have a special guest. Chad and Joe, the coaches, but not really. They just let them do them. You can't coach LeBron. Listen, man, do you know how brilliant of a con? He sat down and that is, a, he made a game plan. To that ain't a blunt, right that's there. an Adderall. Yeah, yeah, that's a good, that's a good analogy. I know my people when yeah. I see them. I know them, they do that shit. Yeah, that's too, that's too detailed. Yeah. We wouldn't have had you, he would have gave up. Nah, he would have gave up third. after trying to figure out what. Man, what the fuck now? Be? Nah, he would have. He wouldn't even have been able to get all the positions out. He right. Like, what's the? It's, it's a point guard. It's a it's shooting just, uh, guard. Wide receiver. What's the one that? Ah. Right. Goalie. You right. Have been fucked up. They really still don't believe that I was a firefighter, man. I do. Man, I'm, go I'm gonna show y'all man. that I'm a real firefighter. That's another place we gotta this, go. This is how you know that this shit is not the chapter not done yet. Cause I got the paperwork at home where they owe me one last check. Like the state of Mississippi owe me one last check. We should record you going to pick up. I don't. I can't, nah, pick, can't it pick it up. up. I gotta yeah. file. I gotta send this paper back. And I've had the paper, but I just never filled it out. So I'm gonna fill that bitch out. And when I'm, I'm gonna get my last check, I'm, I'm gonna get the check stuff. Let me show y'all. Dude. Listen, that's the thing. You another way you can show that you're a firefighter is the fact that you know. I can't find the calendar knots. that was on. Nah, just knots. Oh, time to nuts. Listen, I still we somewhere got my in the mall. Guy. True story. Me and Los in the mall somewhere. We be, you know, going to the mall and shit wherever we at. And uh, he took the bag that came loose. And uh, one of the bags we was carrying from one of the stores we went to. And he tied the knot in the bag and was like, yeah, look at that good old such and such knot. I was like, nigga, what? He was like, yeah, it's a certain type of knot. When you're a firefighter, you got to learn how to tie. How many different type of knots? It's like 9, 11. But I'm still proficient in my knot game. I could tie a dope ass figure eight, double figure eight, a bow line, you know what I mean? Uh, all that shit. I'm good with my knots, square knots. Two is one and one is none. Safety, safety on that bitch. We good. Most of y'all listening to this shit don't know what the fuck he talking about. Man, come on, bro. That's how you know he was a firefighter. Come on, man. I was really on that bitch with the axe, pickaxe, jaws of life. Nigga really cut some shit up with the jaws of life. Was down in the fire academy for a couple 
couple, you know what I mean, weeks. I ain't never did no shit that Jumped cool. Up I worked on the truck. GTLR. Went all the way up in the uh, in the basket, man. I've been out there, man. Yeah, you know what I mean? No shit that cool. You I worked in the shoe store. I was good at it, but I wasn't tying no Me knots. Me too. I was I was very oh, proficient was. in the shoes in the, also. In the shoes. Yeah, in a department store, working for commission. Yeah. Moved on to athletic apparel. Down at the sporting goods and I'm shit sure like that. I'm sure you are a proficient salesman. Yeah, I'm a great bullshitter. Because it's like, I'm not the type of person that's gonna sell you anything. I'm just gonna convince you to buy what you like. And that's the thing, you could be able to figure out what a person like. When you no, they tell you what they like first and then they want you to compare everything that's comparable to what they already like. But if you already have your mind set on what you like, everything that I'm gonna present to you is already gonna be insufficient because you've already made up your mind anyway. So my, my job as a salesman is just to reassure you that you were already right. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. People love reassurance, man. Don't yeah. nobody really want your advice. They really want you to tell them what they want to hear. Yeah, tell them what you did so they can do it. Hence, why the truth hurts. Exactly. Because your truth ain't gonna be they shit. Right, that's bad. Right. Well, you just said something right there. That's a, listen, what he just said, some of the realest shit ever. Your truth ain't everybody's truth. It ain't. So if you gonna try to force your truth on somebody else, be prepared for what come with it. That. That's why you can't be out here trying to tell motherfuckers what they ain't and are. And that ain't up to you. Yeah, that ain't up to you, G. That is not your fucking call to make. Ain't yeah. no universal right. Nope. The thing is, you can think whatever you want to think. But when you try to start making other people think what you think, then you hate. You hate. Or you brought it full circle that time. Yeah. Period. One more time for the 85 South Show. I think we've run through all the all the highs and the lows. We really don't. We ain't talking about all this bullshit. Yeah, Chad. the you world happenings. We fuck that the world shit. happenings. The only the shit we're going to talk about is I got some shit I want to say. <laughs> I hope they steal all the money for the fucking border wall. I hope FEMA, Red Cross, whoever the motherfuckers who be stealing all the money from donations and charity. Bernie Madoff, I hope they all steal all the money that's supposed to go to the wall. I hope don't one truck show up. All the equipment that was supposed to go to building the border wall, I hope it is stolen by Americans. Whoever it is, all the contractors steal all them tools, steal all the trucks, all the concrete mixers, steal all that shit. We're gonna build a wall around the world's best carpenters? That's stupid. <laughs> These motherfuckers are skilled in building. And you're going to build a wall around some motherfuckers who built the pyramids. Mm -hmm. Some of them. Some of them did. Stupid ass. Some of them did. Hell yeah. And it only took some of them to do it. Right. And that's so stupid. You're going to build a wall around Mexico. Do you know how many different other kind of Hispanic people over there? Yeah. All they're going to do is go another way. Mexico is amazing, man. Mexicans man. are amazing. Hispanic people, period. Yeah, period. Latin people. See, there's so many different kind of I don't know. The Latins, the Hispanics, the... El Salvadorian, man, all fight. of them. We fuck with all of them. Everybody, all the motherfuckers. Want to block you from coming over here and getting your shot at hustling? And y'all some proficient hustlers too. Yeah, this motherfucker big enough for everybody. Fuck it. Ain't nobody in Montana. Right. South Dakota emptied in a motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Quit being stingy, white people. Y'all just want all the shit to y'all self. This ain't y'all shit. It's land of opportunity. Got my motherfucking income taxes held up. Yeah, that's gonna cause a problem. You wanna see niggas organized. Come they on, got man. got organized then. Oh, come on, this is our worst nightmare coming into Listen, fruition. Boy, Out of all the shit we ever dealt with, nigga, the income taxes has been there. White man knew, he was like, hey, hey, hey guys, man. they called an emergency hey, meeting man. for that. Hey, I've been on Instagram, and we're gonna have to figure something out about these income, these W twos, man. Come on, man. They're really, they're galvanizing. We don't want that. When the goddamn baby mama showed up, ain't no up. child support. That Monday came out. They said child we still want to still send them out. out. It ain't still going out. Oh, okay. It, I ain't, ain't know better. shit set, shut down. Nah, that ain't gotta, shut down. Oh. Let it shut down if you want to. Oh, okay. Pay your child support, nigga. Yeah. You probation too. People working for free now. Shit. They better motherfuckers than me. Yeah. I would, I would have been seeking other income. Yeah, because if you was to ever to try to, if you was to ever not show up for work, you would be fired. But now they want you to come for free. Now everybody just using a bunch of sick days on their end. Yeah. I don't blame them. I don't blame them either. Furlough. 
I don't even know what that means. I just, yeah. That's just a fancy way of saying they ain't got they ain't your got money. It. Exactly. Fuck that. They're going to double up when they come back. So you don't get all your time and a half nope. and all that shit. You just get your regular like check. That. You get to work again and get paid. Oh, so you just working for free now? Ain't yeah, no yeah, future check coming? Nah. Wow, I thought they was going to you reimburse, you? reimburse you for nah, the time they, off. Nah, they, they, they Like you come they, back and you be two checks let's up. Let's say that it's closed down, figuratively speaking, for two months. You think they're going to come back and give all the federal employees two months worth of back pay? Yeah, at no. least some... F what? No, it's not going to happen. No. You're going to come back to work with your job if you did, if you was able to make the adjustments that, you know, they say you should be able to make if you're not working. Damn. Yeah, it's crazy, man. It's I thought crazy. motherfuckers was really going to be getting some extra, like, overtime pay or something. Uh -huh. Damn. I ain't never heard that. I mean, mind you, I don't work for the federal government, so I could hey, man, be wrong. Man, shout out to everybody who got to go to work think for I free, am. man. If you quit, I definitely understand. You, I definitely understand. You got to start getting to the airport three hours early, my nigga. That's the thing, man. That's why I respect the job. Anybody working a job, I respect it, man, because you're dealing with a different type of danger. You know what I mean? You got to be on somebody else's program and do it sufficiently enough to where they continue to let you come in and make money every day. That's a, you know, you got to be a strong-willed person to get up every day and do that. So Right, and, they, and, you, and then a lot of these places, they can fire you just because they want to now. Especially in Georgia, it's a, they can let you go for nothing just because they tired of looking at your ass. <laughs> that's the main type of demonstration they had to deal with right there. And that's the thing. All we do is just, you know, we just took the other way because we go through the same type of, you know, responsibilities, but it's just from a different perspective. We're able to set our own schedule and make our own time of how we want to move and do things. But the fact that you do that, this ain't for everybody. So the fact that you do what you need to do to take care of your family, man, don't never feel bad about having no job. Uh-uh. Don't never let pride get in the way of your goddamn hustle. Shit, oatmeal beat no meal. If you ain't where you want to be, shit. It's all on you, though. Ain't nobody going to make your shit easy. Like, nigga asked me the other day who was hiring. I was like, I don't know, little bro, but shit. Find you a little piece of goddamn job. Then go look for one. Because it's easier to get one when you, you got to one. have one. Right. Because yeah. ain't nobody going to goddamn give you nothing. It's easy you to gotta get find one something to have one. That's you, where you making something there. Right. Yeah. Even if it's just uh, washing dishes under the table, yeah. you got to have a, a hustle, bro. And anybody that try to make you feel bad about that, get them to the fuck from around Yeah, you. man. They ain't for you. I'm telling you. You know what I mean? Ain't Especially if you're a working. man. Because ain't nobody, like at a certain age, motherfuckers going to look at you like, nigga, you better get busy. You a grown-ass man. Right. Ain't nobody going to have no sympathy for you. This is going to cut you. The world going to cut you off. Cut you all And you're going to be forced to hustle. But don't wait until your water get cut off to realize you ain't got no water. Exactly. Because once it get cut off, it's going to be a whole lot harder to get it turned back on than it would have been for you to keep it right. on. And a lot of people got to understand. They charge you to turn it back on. A lot of motherfuckers got to understand that it's hard when you out here trying to find your own way in the world. And a lot of people don't respect or appreciate your pockets or your situations because they think you living like them. A lot of people don't have the same respect or treat their money the same way. Right. Hold on, you're taking me too fast. Know when to fucking get out of there. You gotta know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Know when to walk away and know when to run. That's some real <laughs> shit. I don't think that song get enough credit. Man, that, that song nigga really said some real shit right on that song right, right there. You know when to know walk when, away. You gotta know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away, know when to run. Nigga. <laughs> That's the most important. That's why you gotta know when to run. Sometimes you can't count you your can't money while it's sitting, sitting on the, the table because it ain't yours yet. It ain't yours if it's sitting on the table. It's still up for grabs. Man, that's the thing, though. You win some, you lose some. Some days you can't lose. Some days you can't win. But you got you to be able to recognize those days. Yeah. And be able to know you in one and know that another day is coming if you treat the mentality that you're supposed to have the way it's supposed to be treated. Yeah, at the end of the money day, don't make none. You ain't in control of none of this shit, None dude. of it. We you don't borrow time. Nothing. Nothing. You don't control nothing for real. Cause at the end of the day, like that. And we all got one. So live your life, baby. The best possible way that you can. Be the most efficient version of whatever it is you are as you can be. Yeah, man. Don't continue to just be a nigga. Be a better one. Hello?
That's a t-shirt right there. Don't just be a nigga. Be, be a, a man. better one. You can still be a nigga. Uplift yourself. But you got to be a RoboCop ass nigga. You got to be upgrading your shit every day. Exactly. Just like on my on the fucking flash screen, that bitch say, do you want to upgrade right now? You know, it's, yeah, upgrade my shit all the time. <laughs> Update everything. I used to just be a nigga. Now I got laser vision and shit. I can do all types of X-Men type shit. I'm proficient. Nigga need an ice maker. And that's <laughs> all within you. You got that in you too. You just got to figure out what it is for you. Yeah, man. Stop trying to be like another nigga. Wow. And be the nigga you is. That shit is crazy. The average nigga got about three, four other niggas trying to be just like him. I read that in the Encyclopedia Britannica. <laughs> he had to go to the library to do it, too. I looked it up by the Dewey Decimal System. Yep. Would you still be able to do that if you had to? Nigga, I'm proficient. That's For the real? word I keep hitting them with, proficiency. Yeah, bro. I really came from that. I just looked like this. I was really into my book studies, heavy. I could have been a scientist. You know what I said I was going to do? I said I was going to print out some map quest directions and just drive somewhere just for old times sake using you, the map quest. You can. You used to do it. Yeah, just to do it. Just to still go back to using the papers like you used to do. If they ain't printed with the, the red thing. ink, you and, bullshit. And now, exactly. And now you should be able to do it easy because everybody be on their phone, man. I don't understand how God is real. If you don't understand God is real, all you got to do is look at where you drive and fuck with your phone at the same time. You realize you ain't looked up and you don't know how long. I don't you be like, like that. I'm a looker up ass nigga. But, hey, but you be on your phone. Nigga. I try not to be. But you, be, you can't. You can't. Shh. It's crazy. You really shouldn't do that shit. But nigga, nigga you be goddamn... Until you ride by the police and yeah. you have a turtle head. Yeah, a real strong one. Or you hit that hurt. <laughs> you hit that hurt. <laughs> that should've make you scared the shit out you right oh there, that <laughs> Nigga, nigga. That's what Cardi B got her noise from the side of the house, the joints on the side. Oh, Cause she can't That's drive. <laughs> Cause she can't drive. <laughs> Shout out to Waffle House for being affordable but still selling steak in that bitch. What the hell? For real, Waffle House? Hey. Waffle House is a steakhouse on the side. Hey, right? not only is it- Tell me you ain't never had a only, hidden Waffle House steak. Not only is it affordable, it is always available. Come on now. At all times. What the on hell else Christmas I'm gonna get a goddamn steak at? On Christmas day, you can get an all-star special. With all some day. eggs with it. Shut the your entire ass. day, they open, tw that's, the, I don't know anywhere else that's open 365, 24-7. Never closed. They don't ever close. Everything else will be closed, but the Waffle House will be open. Walmart closed, but the Waffle House didn't. Most reliable shit in the world. And it's always there when you need it. Because you only need it when you need it, but whenever you need it, it's one available to you. Yeah, yeah. Waffle House, my favorite goddamn C restaurant. That shit is a C plus to me. Good C plus. Good C plus. Strong C plus. And, and a consistent C plus. It'll never be an A. And you graduate with that. Bro, I'm just disappointed that I've lived to a point where things have changed in some aspect. I remember when things I was growing up. A lot of aspects. Bro, when I was growing up, Pizza Hut pizza was the best shit on in earth. In the world. On earth. The most delicious shit you. Nigga, McDonald's french fries is. It's a folklore. I don't know how when you a kid, how McDonald's was so good. Nigga, chicken now, nuggets. I get scared if I had to eat some McDonald's. Like, like McDonald's do something to my body now as an adult that I don't understand how I was ever able to digest this Bruh, shit. Like McDonald's chicken nuggets was so good, you'll say some crazy shit like, Grandma can't fucking cook anyway. <laughs> I don't know if I ever went that hard. No, I'm, but, just, I'm just saying that's, a, they that's will how put, good they were. It'll put that on your spirit. Yeah. Well, you will freely feel like that. Listen, the, things have changed in a lot of ways, Logan. Things that pro, Logan, pop, none Logan. of the food tastes the same. Papa John's pizzas don't taste nothing like it used to. Logan. I only used to fuck with them as some novelty pizza because they sauce was different, but now they shit tastes like the shit across the street and the shit across the street. Nigga, I was trying to eat a Domino's pizza the other day. Nigga, I had to pour a layer of grease off the top first. Listen, like, you who know the fuck eats me? this shit? Cereal. I used to love cereal. They used to be child. delicious. And now I can't drink milk. Oh my God. You now they got milk or do Nigga, they eat? got 13 different kinds of milk. I don't even know what the fuck I like no more. And things have changed. Lowe's, how many people numbers you know by heart? None. 
Exactly. And I feel like a terrible person. I know Clay number by heart. That's the only motherfucking number. Probably because you done had to use it before. Because he done had the same number for you. Before you had the, the phone. Same number. He got the same voicemail. Them nigga. the numbers you use, them the only numbers you know by heart, the numbers you done remembered your whole life. Your Nobody. home number, your number. Like house numbers. House at the numbers. Crib, but that's it. And you don't know nobody else. You used to have to know everybody's number by heart and knew them. You used to know how to. You just had to know how to get somewhere Let me fuck you up. without GPS. When the last time you had to write something that was longer than your name? Like physically write something that just wasn't your name? Had to? Yeah, like it's you actually had to sit down and to. write something. Yeah, it's been a long time since. You know what? The most I write now, is, well, not if outside I'm of jokes outside of writing shit. just stuff that you write. But even then, I type it in my phone. But... The most I find myself writing is when you take them in, when we take them international flights and got to oh, fill out that paper. God. When you got listen, if you ever took an international flight and you got to fill out that card, that makes That's you feel why like you're like morning taking meeting. international flights because they make you feel like you shouldn't have never left. What the fuck you doing over there? Who you stay with? Where was it located? Did you bring any fruit back? Like what? What? How much money do you have on you? Not a how lot. How much money did you take with you? You be trying yeah. to answer like, answer like when people, how much money you got? A few dollars? Yeah. How much? Just a little bit. Why? Exactly. I feel no. like I'm taking what the, the, fuck, the man? Stanford Nine on that motherfucker. That's the most right now, but you're right. The, you don't have to write no more. You don't have to do nothing. Everything is in this box. Like, dog, the reality of having one of these 20 years ago, if I, if you could take your cell phone and it still do everything, like you the only nigga that's still connected to the one Verizon right. tower in the year 2000, you'll be the smartest motherfucker on the planet. Bro, I feel like I'm probably the only nigga who was totally with that whole goddamn, whatever they call that shit, where the phone be remembering what you like and suggest, I love that shit. Bro, what if your phone fuck around and find the kind of hoes you like? <laughs> And even the odds for you and tell you the ones that already like you back. And, uh, Hit her listen. back. Siri, which one ain't bullshitting? You should probably call. It's gonna get to that. She texts back in one minute, eight seconds on average. It's gonna get to that. She sends a uh, lots of heart emojis. I think she likes you more than everyone. Like what? Yeah. Ah! Yes, it's iPhone. Gonna get, it's gonna get to that. And that's the, the thing. Love app. What you gonna do? Stop complaining. You ain't gonna do nothing. You gonna what you gonna do? Not use your phone? You don't want to use GPS? You, you don't go like buy Tetris? another phone that's gonna have a cheaper version of the same shit. What you, you gonna, gonna, gonna have do? an Android version of the Love app. Well, you don't know if she find it now because her picture's blurred. Exactly. You gonna have to live like Weezy was dressed at the game. You gonna have to live off the grid. Man, Weezy dressed like a creative grandmother these days. Yeah, he in the game. Hey, I just want to get that rich where you don't give a fuck. When people tell you you got to be somewhere and you just grab some clothes and walk out the house, as long as everything new, can't nobody say shit. Exactly. Who going to tell you something? But that's a level of confidence that most people will never get to. Like, as many jokes as a, a person may tell, at the end of the day, hey, that nigga comfortable being him. And I salute it. All right. That's the game, though. I wouldn't give a fuck what people thought if I had... Once I get about $10 million, I'm going to be dressing like Rick James with the wig and everything. If I decided thing. one day I wanted to start being this nigga. Chico, how much you had to have to start wearing zip-up gloves with fingers missing? Fingerless zip-up gloves. Exactly what I got now if I decide I wanted to do that. Right. Fuck it. Yeah. Ain't no amount of nothing that's going to make me get... That's the thing. I don't base my life around the things that I have or can get. I base my life on the fact that I'm me. Oh, man. And what that means is it don't matter what I got. If I want to do something, I'm going to do it, and I'm going to do it because I love to do it and it give a fuck about what you think thing. about it. How, man, a lot of people think that some shit going to happen when you out, go outside and be who the fuck you want to be. Ain't nobody going to really fuck with you like that. Yeah, and the same nobody thing. Nobody give a fuck. And the same things that happen when you be who you want to be are going to happen with you being not who you want to be. Oh, shit. That was so clear. It almost came through that radio. It ain't going to change because a lot of this shit, you ain't, you ain't in control of none of it. The world going to give you the same things See, no matter whether you, you being right yourself or not. Because somebody going to say we giving too much of a fuck. Somebody going to say it. I mean, you know, for the niggas that fuck with us, somebody need to hear that. Stop giving a fuck about people's opinions of you. It's just an opinion. It's a thought that somebody has about who you are. 
they entitled to think that. You want you an example? entitled not to give a fuck. You want an example? Watch this. Chico, I disagree. Nothing hey. happened. Yeah. The I world is still the same. J-O-N still over there on the machine. Hey, J-O-N. Jordan went from a, a I disagree. to a nigga that's going to hustle people on the basketball court. No, we must have been court. here too fucking long. This nigga changed outfits. Let's exactly. Go. Let's fucking get, get out, out of here. here. Well, welcome to the first rendition of uh, 85 South Show, Volume 1. 2019. 2019. We are Chico Bing, anything you want to wrap up with? You want to leave them with on this? Because this is going to be another book in the volume. There's a lot of information, a lot of context in this episode. Yep. 2019, be who you are. Figure out who that is and be that. Stop being ashamed of yourself. Stop pretending that you are happy when you're not. That's why you got all these people out here sad because they ain't took the time to figure out who they are and embrace it. Be you this year. The whole year. The whole year. And next year and every year and day that God give you the opportunity to be alive, be yourself and watch how good shit start happening for you. Whoa. Is that, is that the key to life? That's the key to mine. Being yourself? Being who I am. Mm. That's the key to mine. I love what I love. I love who I love. And that's it. That's it. Well, well. How about yourself, Brother Lowe? You know me. I ain't never gave up on you. And I never will. I never will. Part of my success is yours. Because you push me to be a better motherfucker. And if you feel like I'm successful, then I want you to be here right here with me, baby. The whole, the whole process of the progress of the 85 South Show podcast was to make us better. You understand? Liberated, underestimated. But see, the game has been penetrated the same way that we demonstrated. A lot of niggas still gonna hate it. But see, it gets deeper because the game gets weaker. If you got a good woman, you need to learn how to keep her. Stop looking at these hoes named Tamika and Jamika just because they got big body parts and they're freaky. Stop it. Stop pulling all your money out your pocket. Save some. Turn your street money to your daily income. And then some. Whoa, real niggas do real things and that goes over a lot of people's head like my hoodie do. I work harder, so I don't even have to be as good as you. Ooh. 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 Yeah, that's a ball yeah. right there. You want to look at what I have ball. and try to compare our successes, and we're not playing the same games, my friend. I love, the, I love enough for the both of us. I don't want to see you fail. I just want to see us win. Mm. That's another t-shirt. I'm not in competition with anything or anybody. I'm Thank trying you. to build something that people can feel when I ain't around. Long after I'm gone. Yeah. That's all it's ever about. You gonna feel my presence when I'm gone. You gonna see how much energy I brought to the room and when you take me out the room, you gonna see it. it's not there. Don't never try to tell other people what their value is because you don't know why they're there. Exactly. Let some shit work the way it's supposed to be. And once you figure out who you are, then you can continue to strive for bigger and better shit. Because a lot of people, when they say, I'm trying to find myself, I got to get the fuck away from them. Because how the hell are you going to be you this long and not know who the fuck you are? Them the same motherfuckers who tried to convince me that money don't buy happiness huh. or money don't make you happy. You don't have enough money to tell me if that's true or false from my point of view. But see, that's my personal opinion. Right. And that's one motherfucker I don't want to be around. Somebody with a whole bunch of money who don't even know how to be happy. You ain't figured out this shit yet. Right. Nah. <laughs> you just <laughs> ungrateful. Yeah. I heard, a, I heard somebody say something that's real. There's two types of people in the world. People who walk into a room and energize it and people who walk out of a room and energize it. Which one of those people you want to be? Shit. <laughs> and I'm not even here to try to tell you what's right or wrong. I'm just trying to tell you that uh, it's a better way to do everything. Because huh. at the end of the day, the motherfucking day is over with.
That's a mm. fact. That's a fact. Well, <laughs> you'll I never said, get that well, back. It's over with. It's over with. Gone you got hey, at some point, at every day. I don't give a fuck who it is. Motherfucker gotta lay down. And you hope. You and wake before up. you fall asleep, guess what? You gonna have that moment of clarity mm-hmm. where you think about all the shit that happened that day. <laughs> That's why you got to get ready for everything. You got to turn some of that shit off, but, you know. The only thing I ask is, if you ever find yourself in a situation where you have to deal with the consequences of your actions, don't run. Face them. That's part of it. That's what come with it. The sooner you start facing them, the sooner you can get it over with. Yeah. Own your shit. And that's what make it easier. When you love yourself and love who you are, the consequences of your actions or something see, that this you one are thing very easy with accepting. They leave out though. You gotta respect yourself first. Yeah. Ain't no love without no respect. Yeah. That's the first person you gotta learn to love is you. Yeah. Gotta love self first. That's what you should start striving to make sure people do. See? Oh. It's a the, ghost in this The bitch. motherfucking organ came on. Yeah. That was so real. Yeah, that was so real. The ghost played the organ. But that's the thing. Stop looking for people to love you. Fuck love. Make them respect you. Yeah, man. That's it. You That's know it. what I mean? Love can allow you to do anything. Ladies, stop looking for love. Look for respect. Make a man respect you. A nigga can love you and fuck your sister, but if he respect you, he will never put you in a position to have to feel nothing like that. Because respect now. don't allow you to do that. But love is an emotion. Respect is a characteristic. And respect goes a whole lot farther than a lot of people know. And if you disrespect yourself, it's going to open up everybody else to disrespect you. So, it's all about how you carry yourself. Don't project it. Be real. Stand on something. Have some principles. Even if they don't mean shit to nobody but you. Right. You like got to believe in something. Get the kids say. Right. <laughs> something bigger than you. That's what Quavo said. This shit bigger than you. All right, man, we ain't gonna bust your head too much, man. But we had to leave that on there because we sit up, we come on here and we bullshit you so much. We're gonna bullshit you in other ways too. Huh. Now it's really up to you to sit here and listen and go back again to figure out what was really bullshit and what the game was. Right. <laughs> huh. And that's how we get down at the 85 South Shore. May the force be with you, my nigga. This is not going to be the last time you see this setup. We're going to experiment with a different, a lot of different setups. Yeah. Tonight, we shit. just wanted this shit to look like a trap living room. Right. Because that's where you was at. Right. You was in the living room with us. This is a trap living room, bro. You got bongos and ashtrays and niggas dressed like this. Right. Just know we could be anywhere we want to be, but we chose this. You know why? Shit, because this is the best space where we can be who the fuck we want to be. It's an empty canvas back there. Ain't no telling what the fuck we might put back there next week. I might bring some old G.I. Joes and bring them bitches up there. Like cooking monsters or some shit. You never know. Set up some old trading cards. Nigga, we might put a green screen behind that bitch and be on, uh, on the set of Friday. Or out of space or some shit. Sitting in the living room on The Simpsons. Yeah, bro. This shit was real smooth. I love this podcast we just recorded, man. It just it was smooth, just yeah. like sucking on a titty in the sunset. Where? Which sunset? Like on the California coast, looking out at a beach or something. Oh, man, you gotta, you gotta be dressed like Grease. I always invite niggas to try flat shit like that, bro. Yeah. It's not about the souvenirs you bring back, but like, where did you sneak off to suck her titty and rub on her coochie real fast? You probably didn't, right? Because you was too worried about the souvenir. Shout out to all the women that grab dicks out in public. Got me feeling like a thought at the grocery store. Hey, go for it. Yeah. Shout That's out to man. Hanes T-shirts, Fruit of the Loom. Anybody who make white T-shirts where you can see your girl nipples through them, been wanting to say that. That's been on my heart heavy. Mm. That's a beautiful sight, bro. When you can see a little areola through the T-shirt. That's how you know God is working. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's the thing, man. It's so amazing, man, to be going into another year. Mm-hmm. Doing what we do, man. We've been doing it for a little while. Man, it, shit, I'm going to keep doing it. 
That's what I'm saying. I gotta just keep doing it. Feel good I really feel able, like I ain't fucked this bitch yet. It. I right, nah, we ain't even. I, feel, I ain't even got in the house yet. The bitch just started liking me. She just started hitting me. She just started liking me. She just started texting. She just started liking me. I ain't even been in her house yet, mm. man. Nah, it's just the bad. They just just started liking me. I That's crazy. Nothing. You ain't did shit. All I did was the work to get her to stop liking me. Shout out to that girl with them red boots on. You so stupid. You shouldn't have them bitches. Do they got a long zipper or what? They got a long zip bag. Yes. Matter of fact, come and let them see them. Come up here and let the people see the boots. She fine now. Y'all got to see these stupid ass boots. Oh, oh, scratch your stuff, bitch. Look, that bitch walked on the stuff like this. Oh, oh. Wearing oh. the latest in fashion Nova boots. That bitch got on some fingernails. Y'all remember them old ass fingernails back in the day? You built Fuck like you mean, boy. You built like DC. Bitch, God, fuck God, you. Damn. You better stop playing. She built just like you, nigga. Bro, you better leave that girl alone. That's that nigga got the white house fucked up. Ah! Oh, yeah. Salute to you, baby. Hell, yeah. Big boots. So you just got Rick the game James to start like Same boots on in this same picture. Same Rick can't James boots. Hold oh, up, they might be on the inside. Damn, he ain't got them on right here. That's a cold nigga. Yeah, that's a cold nigga. That's right a cold look nigga. At, nigga look, right at right look at the shoe. Look at the shoes. That nigga got on some Harachis with a hard bottom on them. Nigga, a French dude made them shoes <laughs> for Rick James. Damn, that is shit might not never go back to how it was. I done fucked up. There it go. There go. Yeah, man. But this is 85 South Show. We would like to invite you to continue to support the guys. We will be on the road here soon. Coming to a city near you. Go to the website, grab some merch. Uh, stay with who you with. Hopefully y'all still be together by the time we get there. Um, to all the ladies out there who have um, personal interest and in your favorite character here on the 85 South Show, just know that we love and respect that. Big titties all in the building. Appreciate you. Every appreciate last it. One of them. Yeah, most definitely. And you and you appreciate it. Yeah. Double D music. Triple D music. A cups and up. B cups, what's up? C cups, come see us. D cups, we'll drink from those. Double D, drunk, drunk. Yeah. And if drunk, your titties drunk. bigger than a double D, who? Heavyweight titties. Shout out to them big little titties. They look little until you see them and they really big. Like, man, the titty was bigger. Yeah, not bad. But I always want to sprinkle that in there. Sprinkle them. Fat asses, medium booties, little booties matter. All shapes, sizes, contours, big women, short women, them little auntie shaped bitches. Ladies with big heads, small heads, little ears. Little toes. Wendy's 4 for 4. Y'all about to make the hood really start back I'm fucking with y'all. Because Wendy's done switched the game up. Now they giving you nuggets and fries. Play that shit, bro. That's their Wendy's 4 for 4 music. Shout out to Wendy. <laughs> they put the game up. Shout out to Wendy. They switch the game up. Hold up, don't even do it. Don't even make a jingle, bro. Oh, yeah. Because since you're doing it, shout out to City Trends. Oh, City Trends. Uh, City, City Trends, show us much love. Salute to City Trends, man. Yeah. City Trends is out here vibing with us, rocking with you us. You need an outfit, then go to City Trends. Shout out to all the professional athletes that love the show, man. Send us Appreciate some tickets, you, man. man. Come being we'll stingy. definitely come fuck with the Them game. goddamn tickets, man. Send us some tickets to the off-ass games that you know ain't nobody coming to. Right. We don't want to, we don't even really want to be around a bunch of motherfuckers, man. Come on, bro. Ain't yeah. nobody said put me on the floor. I just want to be in that back section yeah. where the nigga who keep bringing the food and shit. Just look out. I'll buy the shit. I don't care who you play. The I don't give a fuck what team. Bro, whatever team you play for, 
We fuck with them because it's your team. Your we team. fuck with you. You gonna come see about you. Nigga, we fuck it. What, whatever sport it is, man. Invite Football, us to some shit. Stop liking us in private. Salute to the young boy Tariq Cohen. He fuck with us. He Nigga, told me, Steve man. Smith fuck with us. That's what I'm saying, man. We coming to the game. It take all day to name all these. Yeah, I don't even. Dion. Dion Sanders. Prime time. Prime time. This nigga is an icon. The one of the biggest, one of the coolest, flyest niggas to ever live. In history. In history of niggas. Of Earth. Prime time. This nigga. Is one of the greatest this niggas the to ever nigga live. This nigga that intercept the football, take his chain out and run the ball back. And then go catch a baseball. Come on. The professionally. Same, the same day. The same day. You know how hard that is? To play two professional sports on the same day? Man, prime time did that. Now, he, he should be a us. billionaire. Just off GP. Yeah. Ain't no way. He should just be a billionaire. He should have made about 500 million playing baseball. Some motherfucker was just awesome, dog. And, and he made. The best thing about Deion Sanders as an athlete that don't nobody mention is Deion Sanders was the athlete that made motherfuckers feel like you can do this shit. Exactly. I just Jordan about to didn't say. have that. Jordan was like a fucking space creature. Yeah. Deion made motherfuckers feel like, nigga, you can do this shit. And you know why? That nigga got drafted, had 90 chains on with the curl and was cool. He looked like a nigga you knew. Yeah. Everybody looked like Talking man, that, on that, the big cell phone. On the big cell phone. If you just got drafted, this is the most important shit going on. Who you talking to? Prime that ain't time. even our business, though. Primetime made up a damn. He probably was on the phone with Rick James or somebody exactly. fly like that. Who, this, hammer. Somebody crazy. This how cold Primetime is. Primetime made a dance up. That it don't matter what hood you from. If you grew up watching primetime and you caught a touchdown, you did the primetime. You did it. If you caught an interception when you playing football in the street and took it back for Score a touchdown, a t- hey, and you did a high step and then <laughs> when you scored, that's what I'm that's saying. That's prime time. Deion right Sanders there. taught you what to he taught you how to score a touchdown. Right. He lets you know what to do when you get there. This is you don't just hand the ball to the ref. I just worked for 90 yards to get down here. I'm going to take these last goddamn five for me. Boom. And I'm going to dance all the way to the motherfucking end. end zone. I I'm can't dance step. in the end zone. That's against the rules. But if I outrun these niggas and I'm by myself, I can do it the fuck It wasn't I even do. against the rules back then. Prime time saying. was so cold with it. But that's what I'm saying. Like, niggas was 30 yards away from him. He could have took his goddamn shit off and, sat and made a sandwich right. if he wanted to. And he fucked with us. That's what's up. There's a lot of greats that fuck with us, man. It's amazing.